Hi, welcome to Back to School Night. I'm Mrs. McCarthy and this is Biology. You can see on the screen is my school email and that's the best way to contact me if you have any questions or concerns. However, we can also set up a virtual call if you wanted to have a little bit more of a conversation and um, please send me an email if you'd like to set something up and we can talk. I have some virtual office hours in the morning uh, by appointment from 8.15 to 9 o'clock. So if your student needed some one-on-one -on -one help outside of class time, they're welcome to set something up with me so that we can have a one-on-one -on -one Google Meet. So the goal of this, the purpose of this video is to go through the major goals of the course the expectations and a typical day so that we can both maximize your student success in this class. All right, so the goals of the course as a whole are um, really focused on developing skills through the lens of biology. So I know that um, most of the students aren't going to be biologists or scientists and that's fine however we can use this uh, what i think is really interesting biology to um, develop uh, skills of describing and analyzing and explaining so we're going to look at the structure and the way that uh, biological systems function and all the application uh, in the real world the second goal of this course, and honestly, I think this one is more important long term because they can take these skills into whatever uh, career path they choose. Um, so our big goals are developing the ability to communicate clearly, whether that's verbally or in writing, to make decisions based on data and to be better problem solvers. So throughout the whole year, these are the skills we're going to work on. Um, and hopefully that they are better communicators, decision makers, and problem solvers by the time they're uh, finished taking biology. You can see on the screen now are the units and the topics that we'll go through throughout the year. So we start the year with kind of an introduction and a deeper dive into ecology. If they had, if your student had me last year for environmental science, we, we talked a little bit about ecology, but we'll do some more this year. And then we get into some of the really interesting biochemistry and, um, We'll talk about cells and genetics and heredity, and we'll end the year with evolution. So it's a, a wide range of topics. Sometimes we'll talk on the micro, the really small level, and sometimes we'll talk on this macro, really big level. All right, for expectations for success in this class, first attendance in the Google Meets is mandatory, and they're required to sign in on time and uh, be focused on the classwork throughout that 30 minute period. If your student's gonna be absent, make sure that you, uh, if you could please contact the school and, the, and send me an email as well, and that will let me know that um, you're expecting your student to be absent that day. A really important expectation is that your students reach out for help. It's um, more difficult in this virtual setting to give and get help. Students have to unmute themselves or type in the, in the chat box of the Google Meet. So it's, it's a little bit more effort than it would be in class, but it makes a really big difference in success. So during the class time during that Google Meet, um, students are welcome to unmute themselves and ask a question or type their question in the chat box. If it's not class time, so it's before or after class, um, they're welcome to send me an email. I check my email throughout the day pretty regularly so I can get back in a, in a pretty timely manner. Another expectation is behavior and dress. So they're expected um, to have the same standards that they would if we were in the school building in terms of how they behave and how they dress. They're expected to show their face during the Google Meet, which is wonderful for me. I, I like seeing their faces, especially because uh, most of the students are familiar to me. I, I, I taught them in environmental science last year. Um, one 
uh, big rule is uh, privacy issues. So there's no recording or broadcasting or live streaming or taking pictures of the Google Meet or the class. And then um, a final expectation for behavior is they shouldn't be lounging and laying down in their bed uh, during class time. They should be seated somewhere um, that's comfortable, but laying down is just not appropriate. All right, so for grading, I try to vary the different kinds of assignments um, and assessments that, that I do throughout the year. A lot of the work that we do will fall under the category of classwork. So it'll just be the assignments that we work on throughout the day. But we'll also have bigger, longer term projects. And we will be doing discussions during this virtual uh, learning so that they'll be talking to each other and practicing their verbal communication skills. And we will be doing um, a significant amount of writing. And usually it's just a kind of one paragraph written response, but that's a way for them to show their understanding of something is by writing out an explanation or justification of um, whatever they might be seeing or we're doing in class. An important point is points will be deducted for late work, it's, but it's better to turn the work in late and complete than it is to not turn the work in at all. Um, and an important point is plagiarism. It is a lot easier to plagiarize and to copy in this virtual world, but it's something that is also, so teachers can pick up on it if uh, answers are copied from Google or answers are copied from another student. And sometimes they'll change one word and, and um, that still would be plagiarizing. So plagiarized work will receive a zero grade. All right, so a typical day um, in this virtual uh, class is they join the Google Meet. They're expected to have their mic off unless they have a question for me or we're doing a discussion and their camera on so we can see their wonderful faces. There will be a warm-up question posted and they answer that right away in the first maybe two or three minutes of class. And then I'll review the agenda and the goals for the day. And then we'll move on to completing the assignment. Sometimes it will be an individual assignment or uh, they'll work in a small group or they'll work with uh, directly with me as a teacher, whether I'm um, whether I'm guiding the whole class or a small group or an individual one on one. Then at the end of class, in the last couple minutes, we'll get back together, kind of go over what we did that day and expectations for the uh, next day of school. And uh, we might have a small discussion or I might give them some instructions or give them some homework. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was informative for you and uh, have a lovely day.